All right, welcome back. We are back once again, and we're gonna start tackling some of the more interesting fun parts, like the exhaust. So, I ordered up a box of stuff. Hopefully, we got everything we need to make something kinda cool. Anyways, who knows what it'll sound like, but it'll definitely be something. So let's get started on this and see what we come up with today. So as you can see, we got a bunch of parts. We got a whole bunch of tubing, some Ys, we got some catalytics over here, and we got our little exhaust guys down here. So hopefully this will make a relatively quiet performing exhaust. Who really knows? I kind of wanted to go with some cats on this, even though it's just a race car. I'm expecting somewhere in the future cats are going to be required on race cars as well. They've kind of already required them on WRC Rally, I believe. So may as well get ahead of the curve and get those going. Because on something this small, it shouldn't really harm our performance much. We're going to start off by chopping up quite a few of these U's so we can use them as individual 90s. So step one is we got this guy welded on. It's cooled down enough. I know this weld here, Ray Charles will be proud of that one. So that was interesting. So now we're gonna have to figure out where to get the other bend for this one. A little bit hard to see above the There, that's a little better. So, we'll have to get our other 90 here, but to kind of figure out where that wants to land, I'm trying to rig up the uh, one into two, and that we got going on the table over here. All right, so to keep kind of the size down, I wanted to get our cats up here. That and you want to be really close to where the heat's at. So I kind of got our splitter here. This will go into wherever we get the other elbow on the rear of that thing. And they will go into these mini cheapo cats. They're not anything to write home about. And Billy Bob down the street is not gonna wanna steal these because they're so darn cheap. But we got these corners zapped on here. That went a little bit better. So that one, Ray Charles doesn't have to worry about that one. So we'll do the same for here on those two sets. And then this central section will be all zapped up. Then we just have to do some end. Yeah. So I'm gonna get to welding on this and we'll see you back in a bit. We are moving right along. This is looking pretty decent. So, normal person would probably just put some turnouts here and call it done. It's like it wouldn't be too terribly loud, but I'm thinking I'm gonna probably be driving this thing until I get older, and I don't think I wanna do that with my ears anymore. So, that's where we're gonna come in with some U-turns. We're gonna go and essentially turn this guy back in on itself. I 
and then come in with this guy. And pretty much wherever it wherever it fits, it sits. So I'm thinking what I should do is take my other pipes and create the exit. It's just we're gonna be uh, the two pipes burned together and then I'm gonna slide the two exhaust pipes on the edge and then we'll see what we need to cut. So we're sitting pretty good here. We've got our exhaust muffler section. We've got our other section and now we can just put our ends in. Take a step back and take a look at it. It's not too bad. Only sticks a little bit up from the back end, which should be fine. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that. All right, so as a whole, it doesn't look too bad. I think there might be a little bit of crookedness but you know, it's good enough for what I'm going for. Certified close enough. So what I ended up doing was I welded this corner, like this top pipe, to that exhaust. And then this one over here, I welded it to the cat. That way, once I remove clamps and such, I can just Remove whole parts of the exhaust. So I'll be good. We'll have the single clamp right there in the middle. Then we'll have a couple clamps on each of these guys. And then we're pretty much set. Probably. Bog this guy down again. There we go. Now I'm just gonna have to find, go out and buy a couple clamps for those other ones. Oh, pretty decent. That's pretty much it. I did get the extra brace there with the rubber up here. That way it can still move and so on and so forth there. And if you can see, See, right over here, that's where I tied the wastegate into the pipe. It's just a straight T fitting. It's not exactly the most ideal for flow or anything, but hey, it shouldn't really be doing much because if your wastegate is open, you're no longer making massive power or your turbo is not working as hard. So that should be good enough. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and watching this section. 
Hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you again next time.